Hey, everybody. So I went to the uh, big jewelry uh, outdoor place this morning and I bought like $43 and some change worth. And let me show you what I got. I got some pretty neat things. I know I'm going to be able to make my money back. And probably going to take me a long time to get it all listed. But it's really cool stuff. Hey, Nikki, how you feeling? Hey, Swampy. So first of all, um, a separate person had all these rings in a little baggie. This one here, hello, Julie. Is Julie here too? I miss Julie. This one's marked 14 karat Italy. You're feeling great. Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, have you been back to the doctor? Hi, etc. Emporium, Valerie. Hey, everybody. So this is Mark 14 Karat Italy. So I am going to have to test that further. I mean, I, it's not marked uh, electric plate or anything, and it's, it's pretty nice looking. It looks like gold. Um, so we'll see. No, next week. Okay, that's good. Well, I hope you're doing what he says you're supposed to be doing. So in this baggie, I, I got um, seven rings for like seven fifty, and uh, or was it seven dollars? Yeah, seven dollars, or was it five rings? <laughs> eh. <laughs> there was some rings in the bag for five dollars. Let me show you what they were. This one's this one's sterling. Angie is saying big old. This is going to be huge. Yeah. I love your nails, Angie, and oh, the jewelry too. <laughs> hey, Monica Brave, thank you. So this is a sterling uh, amethyst ring with marcasite. Needs cleaned really bad, but it's a nice ring. Looks It looks nice worn on your um, index finger. So I like that a lot. That was in the ring bag for $7. This one's sterling. I don't know what that is. Is that druzy? Is that what they call dru druzy? Druzy? So this one is, I like the, I like the work around the edge of it. It's pretty neat. Pretty nails, cool design. Thanks, Julie. Uh, yeah, I think that's cool. Just not sure. I think that's Druzy, but I am not sure. I think that's what they call that. Uh, this one's Mark Sterling too, with a fauceted stone in it. I love that ring. It's so pretty and unusual. Thank you. Um, this is a big old one. I'm not sure if that's an acrylic stone in there. It's it's a rather, I don't know, it's not a real good made uh, silver one, but it's marked silver on it. Hi, uh, Jim, um, missed your name, sorry. I can't read very good. So those are the, the rings I got in the baggie. It seems like I'm missing one. Seems like there was another one. But I don't know. Anyway, there's those. That was from one separate person. Uh, I got the set. This is a little set with little um, cardinals on it. Comes with a ring. Comes with the bracelet. Hey, Monica, you're, you're driving to garage sales, but you're still going to watch me. Hey, be careful. <laughs> Don't be driving and watching me at the same time. Uh, so that's a bracelet, and then it count, comes with the brooch and uh, earrings. Where's the other earring? The other earring is I've got everything kind of laying here in front of me. Angie, I missed the beginning of the show. Well, this is pretty much the beginning. Hi, kisses from Argentina. I love your videos and sense of humor. Hi, Mick Cassandra. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, here's the other earring. So there's earrings. I like this little set. That's pretty neat. Probably from the 60s. It's nice that it's all together. I got a lot of earrings as usual. Um, these are Mark Trafari. 
and they're they're pretty nice. I like those a lot. Trafari clip on dangle earring. Those and um, these are also Trafari dangles. Pretty cool. Different. Luckily, when I got there, well, somebody had already been there and and was helping the lady with all the jewelry set up and, and got her pick of all the jewelry. She got there, of course, she cheated. She got there before even, you know, while the lady was setting up. It was supposed to start at 8. Well, I don't even know what time the, the lady would have been setting up, probably, you know, 7.15 or something. So this lady, so so the jewelry was already picked through by the time I got there, but there was still some good things. And, you know, it's hard to tell what I would have got, though, if I'd have been there really early, but I just can't get up and go. I can't. I mean, I, I was almost tempted not to even go because I am not a morning person. So this is a pretty um, Pave rhinestone and faux pearl pin. I like that a lot. I don't know if you can see better holding back further or up closer. You let me know. Where's a good spot? Here's a couple pairs of clips that are similar. One's got purple and one's got red. They're not marked, but they're pretty cool. It was so fun looking at all this stuff, of course. It's it's pretty much like getting a jewelry jar. I mean, it's just, it's just almost as fun, only, you know, it's not a surprise. You know what you're getting, which is kind of better. So this is a pin pendant. And some of this stuff was in bags with other stuff, so I might not have got that if it was just loose. that much and these are some clips a lot of the clips were in baggies with other clips and there was like you know four or five in a in a um, baggie with that said like a dollar on it or two dollars or something like that these are pretty neat they're um and I don't know if they're the real cloisonne, cloisonne or if they are just enamel but they're like um they're kind of like, I guess they're um, turk or I was gonna say turkeys. Um, you know what's that bird? What is that bird? Peacock. I think they're peacocks. Maybe I'm not sure. Or turkeys. <laughs> anyway, it's some kind of bird. Here's another kind of bird. I think that's a peacock. In the cloisonne. There's those. There's these pretty cool dangles, like these. They're neat. It's lots of earrings, like I said. Got some old uh, cufflinks that have the, you can tell they're older because they have the bent um, post on them. And they actually say something on them. Let me see if I can see what they say. This thing's pretty neat. I got it at Amazon, on Amazon. I can see pretty good with it, uh, as opposed to like a, I don't know, like a jeweler's loop. See pretty good with it. What does it say? And it's got little, other little, you know, strengths or whatever in there. Uh, it's it's one twentieth twelve carat gold filled. And these are kind of cool. They have some kind of a little like world design on them or something. But unfortunately, they have a good bit of verdigris on them, so. This one has a good bit of verdigris on the post right there, but I heard if you, 
I think vinegar and something. Somebody told me a tip about vinegar. White vinegar maybe takes it off. So I'll try that. I like these a lot. Oh, this was the other thing that was in with those rings. That's right. I knew there was something else. This is sterling. I don't know what this is called. Can you put a link to your magnifying glass on the video? Um, yeah, I can try to do that. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, and it was cheap too. I mean, um, but it's nice. I really like it. Uh, I forget the name of this. Is it something like Snowflake Obsidian or something like that? I don't know, but it's pink. It's got these little, like, looks like snowflakes on there. I don't know. And it's sterling, too, so it needs cleaned up. But that'll be nice on a, on a chain. So that came with those rings that I showed at the beginning. And let me see. Oh, these are nice. They're signed something. Get what they're signed. Something I didn't hear of before. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> I knew I, was, I saw that they were signed something before. Oh, direction one. Not like one direction, but direction one. So I think I have heard of that before. So they're they're probably a newer. Um, need. So hopefully they're old enough to sell on Etsy, but I don't know. This is another Reed Barton set. Reed Barton Damascene. Um, I got one of these sets last year at the same place, um, but I haven't sold it yet. So <laughs> maybe it's not that popular. I don't know. But you see on the back it's marked uh, Damascene Reed Barton, but I don't know if you can see that, but that's what it is marked. Both pieces are marked. So that's pretty though. I like it. So that was like probably a dollar in a baggie. Oh, there's that. There's another ring. There's another ring that was in the bag. <laughs> I knew there was a bunch of rings. This one's really cool. It's big. That's pretty neat, though. I, lo I love big rings. Tempted to keep that. I'm not, I I'd like it if the colors were darker in it, that it wouldn't look so washed out looking, but it's a pretty neat ring. I think it's uh, maybe it's silver plate. Although it is, it is marked 925 in the band, but it's pretty cool. There's a cute flower ring, flower ring, flower pin, enamel flower pin, enamel flower leaf. I like it. Pretty neat. I don't buy very many pins. I don't know. I don't do do so well with pins. Uh, a lot of people say they do really well with pins, but I don't know what it is. Now this one is a. I might do a lot, like you know, a lot, a bunch of trafari ones together, or something like that, or or do a lot of trafari jewelry with a pin in it and maybe some, you know, clips or something, clip on earrings or something, see how that does. Here's a pretty cool pin, it's an eagle pin. It's like matte black enamel finish on it with the gold, polished gold tone around the edges. I love jewelry that stands out. Statement pieces of jewelry are my favorite. I know, me too. That's why I look for different types of, you know, stuff that's uh you don't see every day these are these are different clip on earrings that have this well i guess they go this way they have kind of a harlequin design at the top of green and gold green and yellow enamel like a harlequin design 
See that at the top? Kind of cool. Now, I don't know that there'll be, you know, immediate sellers or anything, but somebody might like them just because it has, they're, the, they're a different kind of design. And if they're cheap enough, I'm definitely going to pick them up. I like these a lot. They probably, they'll probably sit in my shop a while, but lots of times if there's something, something that looks old in the 50s or something or 60s, you know, like these kind of look, well, they might even be 80s, I don't know, but I like them. I like them because they have the ostentatious blue stones in them. And they have the mesh, mesh or looking uh, around the edges, looking trim. And, uh, ouch, ooh, my foot's asleep or something. These are articulated. Looking newer, newer clips. They're kind of cool. Another pair of door knockers. These seem to go pretty, pretty good, pretty quickly. Door knockers. They aren't, um, they aren't signed, but they're nicely made. I thought Tanya was going to go live today sometime. I messaged her to ask her when, and she didn't reply back to me. So I didn't want to be on when she was trying to go on. Here's a cool ring. It's black glass. It's a rose, a black rose. And then look at the, uh, look at the edge of that, how that is. Kind of neat. I mean, it's just an adjustable ring, but it's old, you can tell. You can tell by the details on it and just the metal. It's old. It's cool. I like it. You don't see that every day either. I think Tanya said she'll be on at 11 or one or one. Yeah. Well, see, it's one o'clock here. It's almost one here in Pennsylvania, but she, but it would be um, 12 over there. Yeah. I don't want to, I know I like that rose ring too. I think somebody's really going to like that, but I don't want to be on when she's on. So I'm going to have to try to, Try, I probably won't be able to do all of this because there is a lot. Here's a cute little ring. It's kind of got the pearl in the middle and then it has like uh, textured leaves around the edge. It's made really nicely for, a, for an adjustable type ring. It's made nice. Of course, you know, I had to get my enamel flower ring or flower um, pin even though it's kind of a but I like the design of it kind of cool this ring is sterling and it's got a little um fire or like fire opal I think fire opal in it kind of pink opal stone I got my mom's wedding ring on today. She had little fingers. <laughs> Let's see if I can put that on there. So that's a little sterling ring. It's cute. Oh boy, the stretchy ring. <laughs> stretchy. <laughs> oh, stretchy. I actually did buy another a stretchy bracelet because this right here intrigued me. Angie, wow, you got a lot of nice jewelry. Yeah, and that's not even, this isn't even half of it. I still have a whole bunch that's over here. <laughs> Look at this. I don't know what they are. Oh, my bird clock's going off. Do you hear my bird clock? <laughs> this this looks like me. It might be an older stretchy bracelet. Usually, I don't get stretchy bracelets because they kind of they kind of turn me off. But I like this one because of these. I don't know why. I don't know what they are. 
I, I don't even know what, what they are, if they're little people, if they're little gummy bear looking things. I don't know what they are. I just liked it because I'm like, I don't know. I liked it. So I got it. <laughs> and then there's these enamel um, pins of birds. This one is marked on. on the back. It's one of those ones with the, I don't like stretchy because sometimes they pinch. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they would sometimes depending on the ones. And then I got um, these real cute vintage barrettes. Look at that. Cute beaded vintage barrettes. And they were in a bag with some other hair accessories, which were this little old leather one, little leather one, and some rhinestone bobby pins, four of them. Ducks are good sellers in wall hangings and knickknacks. Are they good sellers for jewelry? I don't know, Nikki. We're going to find out. <laughs> but you know what? That'll probably be at the end of my listing pile or on the bottom because all this other stuff to me is so much better than that. It, it was probably, I don't know. I don't know. Some of the stuff probably, I don't know why I got. Because I was grabbing stuff because, as usual, there was a whole bunch of ladies around. And it was like elbow to elbow. This is old. That's pretty cool though. I like that. Look at it. It's got a lot of snap to it. There's two of them. It's got a patent thing on the back. You can tell it's old. So there's those. Tag on ladies, why do they like jewelry so much? Why are they always taking on my jewelry? Oh, and this was in there too. This is cute. Hey, hey Sue, perfect to watch while you're cleaning. Some brass, some. Sue, mine are picking up. Do you lot barrels up? Barrels. Oh, barrettes. Do I lot barrettes up? Uh, I. I have, I think. Sometimes, yeah, that's what I figured you were saying. <laughs> Stupid autocorrect, huh? Um, I think I have, but normally if they're different enough, I'll sell them on their own. Um, so here's some more hair things. Yeah, I know, that stupid autocorrect gets you every time. Luckily, I'm getting pretty good at deciphering that. Here's some little cloisonne or enamel. I don't think they're real cloisonne. I really like that porcelain piece you were just showing. Oh yeah, the, the barrette. That's pretty neat for a barrette. I do I do think that's probably a not a common piece. Oh, I missed that about the, something about numbers. Sorry about that. I missed it. Um uh, so there's that. There's this, which I like. I like those. Hey Dawn. I'm bubble wrapping some obnoxious tiny wave crap figurines. <laughs> I know what you mean. I have some of those too. <laughs> they are obnoxious. Hey, you want to see something else obnoxious? It's not jewelry, but I got this dog. I swear this dog looks more like a baboon than a dog. Hey, Dawn, look at this. Look at this dog that I got. I'm going to have to move this. Look at this dog. <laughs> Does this dog not look kind of like, like a baboon? <laughs> but it's a dog. <laughs> I had to get it because I'm like, that's like half baboon, half dog. <laughs> that's a dollar. It's real soft. I guess somebody was, and I know, it looks like a baboon. But I, had, I think somebody was like learning their trick. That is just so wrong. 
<laughs> Karen, a dog. <laughs> Is it, uh oh, is it rabbit fur? I'm sorry. Did I, did I do a no, no there? <laughs> did I, is that politically incorrect? <laughs> I don't know what kind of fur it is really. I don't know. Um, <laughs> every time I look at it, I have to laugh. Uh, Desi wanted it as soon as she saw it and she barked like crazy at it. Okay. Back to the jewelry. I just had to show you my dogoon. You're a vegetarian. Oh, okay, Sue. I am sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's a pin. That's a bird with some uh, ABs on it. And here is a B O E H M at home. Have you ever heard of that? It's porcelain. It's got a bird on it. It's kind of pretty. I got one of these. Your dog is a schnauzer. I hope he looks slightly less like a baby. <laughs> now, every time I look at that, I'm like, oh my gosh, it just cracks me up. Okay, this is a, a, a copper um, uh, open cuff. And my husband will straighten that thing out. Hey, Sadie, doing really good. How are you doing? You see, it's bent, but my husband can fix that. He'll make that perfect. Um, so that's one of those ones that's marked inside there, solid copper. Oh, got to go, Angie. Last garage sale. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Uh, gee, I just looked it up. Jewelry patent numbers and... I just caught you. I am great. How are things with you, Jackie? How's that cute little girl? Your little granddaughter. She's adorable. Uh, where's the other? I'm missing. Um, I kind of got jewelry spread all over the place. Doug. <laughs> Don't get me back on that, Dawn. <laughs> She's just beautiful. She sure is. She sure is. She's, she could be a model. Unlike this dog. <laughs> uh, the light's kind of funny in here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, if it was any better, I would have to pinch myself. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Sadie. The other day I was like so stressed and I was like, oh Lord, please help me. Cause I'm just like, I don't know. My spirit was just so upset. I was just like, my mind just couldn't get off of negative things. And I don't know, but today I'm like, I'm good. I'm totally all turned around. So that's good. Uh, these are Liz Claiborne. Jewelry must do that to me. Jewelry helps me out a lot. <laughs> Jewelry. Jewelry helps me. Uh, this is Dane Craft did not notice that before, but it's like a knitting, uh, mot or a knitting, uh, what do I want to say? Theme with balls and, uh, of knitting stuff. Yarn. That's what it is. Knitting stuff, balls of knitting stuff, i.e. yarn. <laughs> uh, here is, uh, changing weather here always messes with my mojo. Wow, I know it changed here radically too. Angie, I think that when one gets a bit older, it's easy to focus on the negative, but you are a sweet person. Try not to let it bother you. I know. I'm really, really good, but some days it's like, man, I can't stop thinking about. Well, Desi, Desi started it. She ate a mushroom and we had to rush her to the vets and the vet wouldn't take her because the doctor wasn't there. And it, it just, it was just a whole day of, of chaos. This is like a strawberry glass necklace thing. I don't know why. I guess because, because it had the strawberry on it. I mean, it's really cheapy, but who knows? Somebody might buy it. You know, if the stuff's a quarter in a baggie, I find it hard to just say no. This is kind of embarrassing right now maybe 
but these are uh, patriotic elephant uh, earrings. So I guess they are Republican earrings. Um, and these, I got a lot of red, white, and blue stuff. Good afternoon from Arkansas. Hey, Deb Mart, 59, how are you? There was a whole bunch of little patriotic red, white, and blue earrings. These are very cute. Uh, so I'll probably lot them up at some point. Um, these are neat. I like these. They're, they're really pretty. I'm not going to lot these up because I think they'll sell on their own. Howdy, Deb Mart 59 says Don Maserati. So they're neat. Um, these are kind of cute. I never saw any like these. Now I have sold, um, pity those earrings aren't Confederate. He sold a Robert E. Lee paperweight right away. Hey, that's wow. They did. Wow. Okay. These I've never seen, um, ones made like this, but I have sold Desi got a mushroom, didn't just eat the yarn rosette. She did. And guess what? So when the vet wouldn't take her, I brought her home and I looked up the hydrogen product. It's 10 pounds per teaspoon, or 10 pounds of dog weight, a teaspoonful makes them throw up. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> so anyway i gave her uh two teaspoons of hydrogen peroxide and she threw up and don't you know she threw that yarn thing up it was in her stomach and it was like this big and i am so glad that i ended up making her throw that up because man that was not coming out that was like a week ago crappy equals crap lol i know i just I don't know what I'm going to do with her. She's going to be the death of us both. She is so stressful. It, it wouldn't be so bad if our other dog hadn't have died from liver failure failure because she, they, the vet thinks she got into something and we don't know what it was. Um, so we're just extra protective of Desi and, and she just eats everything, everything. Anyway, back to the jewelry. I'm sorry. So these are shoe clips. Oh, did you ever see a shoe clip that had this plastic doodad on the back like that? I didn't. I mean, I've always seen them with the metal clips. And uh, this is fabric. It's like a felt type of fabric. And then it has these little. Um, yeah, I'm glad she's OK, too. How's lug nut? So they're pretty cute. I like those anyway. And then there was another pair that was in the baggie too, but I noticed, I noticed they're bro that it's broke right there. There's a prong broke off of it right there. So, oh well, I like the black ones. <clears throat> Here's a wood a wood brooch. It's got cutouts on it. I've never sold anything like that before. I might. I have some wooden beads and stuff. I might lot it up all the wood together. Was that, would that be a good idea? <coughs> These are marked um, Trafari. Lug's busy being a pain in the rear end. <laughs> this is a pin and some earrings, clip on earrings. Yeah, I love her name. Yeah, I wished I would have named Desi something else. That was her name when we got her. Her name was Desiree and I'm like, Oh, that's such a foo-foo name, but I couldn't think of anything, so I just left it that. I don't know why. Oh, thank you, Jackie. <clears throat> These are little um, scatter pins, which I think are real cute. Good afternoon, Angie and all. Hi, Kay. Migs, 100. Little scatter pins. They have mother of pearl faces and little brooms or something on the bottom. KM Riggs. Okay. I can't see very good. More um, clips, more clip ons. Um, these are cute little dangles. 
rose rose dangles with uh rhinestones in the middle pretty cute i missed my dog sadie can't bring myself to get another one right now oh is that why your name is sadie <clears throat> i was wondering about that i know i i think after desi's gone that's gonna be it because it just it just kills you when they leave. I mean, it just kills you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, what kind was she, Sadie? This Claiborne pin for a dollar in the box. <coughs> I'm sorry. Some dogs you never get out. Isn't that tr the truth? That's very true. Somebody made this pin. Oh, you do? I, this somebody made this. This person here. You lost your Malta poo last year. Oh, she was 18. Oh, my. I bet she was mixed. They're the best. They are the best. Oh. Yeah, it's like you really want you really want them to be in heaven, don't you? I mean, we don't know for sure, but if if God is anything like I think he is and I know he is. <laughs> I know he is cuz I know what he's like. I mean, there's going to be dogs in heaven. Our little puppies are going to be up there. I hope another Sadie. These are pretty nice. My gosh, Beagle mix. I still can't look at his paw print. I know. But they sent Teddy's paw print in the card last year, and it was like, oh, my gosh. And then some of his hair and his collar, and it's like I couldn't I couldn't look at it either for the longest time. And my, my husband kept wanting, I wanted them to keep them in there, and my husband wanted to bring them home and bury them. So we did that, and it was just a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. Horrible. But anyway, let's let's think about jewelry. Let's not think about that. That A's brooch was cool. Which one? This big weird one. This one? That somebody made. It's wood, I guess. Somebody made it. Look at all these uh necklaces. This is only one of these things that I have full of necklaces. Yeah, the weird one. <clears throat> I rather like this. I think that's really cute. I love, love, love jewelry too. <laughs> I just think that's so cute. And it's like that on both sides, like stones, different color stones. And it has this little hang tag. So I don't really know. Did anybody ever see that hang tag before? A little flower or something like that so i don't know but it's nicely made it's got the hook the hook closure hey hey barb are you nervous i was nervous but i don't know why barb barb am i allowed to say what you sent me you are <laughs> you shouldn't be you have a small box that faintly says 70 percent on the bottom have you ever seen any 70 percent silver tv no i haven't yes there must be something primal in loving jewelry so many oh boy stuff's disappearing before i get to read it i know they aren't supposed to believe dogs are in heaven but i do i do too yes i do too oh i can say oh goody Okay, so Barb sent me, well, I I uh, made a little deal with her, but she gave me a really good deal. I got some car um, Hallmark ornaments. One of them is like a 59, I think 59 Cadillac. And then I got two trucks with the little um, trees in the, in the beds. Oh, they are so cute. One's green and white and one is red and white. 
and I'm I'm gonna use them like before Christmas. I'm, I think I'm just gonna display them because they are so cute. And they're metal, they're not cheapy things either. They're real cars, vehicles, all that. Now I got these. Barbara, I hope you do fantastic. Yes, cars. Now we're talking. See, Zadie, my daddy was a, a car salesman practically all my life. So we had all new demonstrator cars every year. I know Barb is Barb's the best, isn't she? Um, we had like new T-Birds every year. I have 59 Thunderbirds is my favorite, I guess, because when I was real little. Well, they're just like jewelry inside. Looking looking at a 59 T-Bird, if you look at the dash of that thing, that is like looking at jewelry. Angie, mine too. He's always brought him the coolest demos. Really, Julie? Well, see, mine worked at, first he worked at Ford Company, and then he worked at, um, a Pontiac and Buick company. And um, so, yeah, we had Grand Prix, we had Thunderbirds, we had, um, uh, you name it, we had, we had everything. And so of course he bought me my first car. I wanted a VW Bug, that's what I got. <laughs> he didn't want to buy me a VW Bug, but that's what I got. Cause that was the thing back in when I was in high school, everybody had them and they were all souped up. Oldsmobile Pontiac Chevy and the general manager of a big Ford dealership when, when he passed. Oh, really? Wow. See, my daddy uh, went to work for the government. Then after a while, he got out of the business and went, went to work for the government, which was a good move for him. I mean, he was always working, you know, that's a job you got to work at night and he, he worked a lot of nights and stuff, and we missed seeing him. So, yes, and you know what? How they how they have that reputation? Car salesmen have that reputation. Like you know, and most of them are just shysters. I know where you. Your car thing coming from now, you know, yep, now you know. And my brothers, I mean, they all have uh, classic cars. My brothers do. And hi, Wendy, how are you? This is cute. I really like this necklace. It's got the. It's kind of like that other uh, set I have, only it's silver tone and it has the cardinal on it. There's the back of it. It's a nice, probably a 60s piece. They do have a bad rap. Some of them deserve it. I know. I've dealt with a lot of them lately that definitely deserve it. This is cute. I thought of Tanya when I saw this because Tanya, well, I thought of two people. I thought of Tanya and I thought of Thelma Thrifts because, number one, it's an Avon piece. <laughs> we love Avon. <laughs> And number two, it's a butter butterfly, and we know Tanya loves butterflies. So I thought of those two people. And it's it's pretty nice. It's nicely made. I never saw one like this before. I never saw an Avon necklace like that before. It's cute. I bet you Tanya would wear that. Does Avon jewelry sell decent? Well, now, <laughs> now you're putting me on the spot. <laughs> Ask Thelma Thrifts. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does. It, it it depends. That is cute, isn't it? It depends on the piece. There's a lot of good vintage Avon jewelry that sells sells good. Um, the problem, the only problem with Avon jewelry is that there's a lot of it out there. It's a lot of it. And now there's some Avon jewelry that's like designer signed. Yeah, it does okay, but. Uh, do not ever put a lot of investment into it. That's probably a good idea. Read fast enough. Kenneth J. Lane. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, Sue. Kenneth J. Lane for a, uh, made jewelry for Avon, and that's one to buy, definitely. Not unless you're selling. I'm sorry, missed that too. So, yeah, there are certain instances where... Um, Definitely, you can pick up Avon and make good money on it if the designers 
if there's designers uh, like Kenneth J. Lane uh, involved, if they've designed it. That's definitely a no-brainer there. KJL will be his, uh, either Kenneth Lane, KJL, or Kenneth J. Lane, all those he's used as a signature. And uh, yeah, pick that up in any time. Avon put out so many cool collections, you would think they would all do well, but yeah, too much of it, right. Yeah, anytime, anytime there's too much of a thing, whether it's really cool or not, you know, that's just the way it goes. How have your Etsy sales been lately, Angie? Pretty good. Um, over a thousand this this month, and that's you know that's nothing for some people. They, some people do a thousand a week and whatever, but you know a thousand for me over it was like well it's getting close to eleven hundred now. Now I got a problem though because I did that auction and that made good money, and now I'm now I made too much. Probably I'm gonna have to do something. And then I don't want to do, but I'm probably going to have to do it. So, oh, well. money problems could be worse. Too much money problems. <laughs> um, this, and I always pick these up, chunky, chunky uh, chokers. I think I said that in my last video. I always pick those up. There's another cute necklace. Got. My problem right now is finding time to list stuff because I am not a fast because I'm always I have this problem I think I have to did you mean a thousand in sales this, this last month yeah yeah 1045 I think it is right now <laughs> don't remind me about money problem I know Barb um uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I, do you have this problem when you're looking up comps? Say there's a, say you're looking up, uh, you know, a particular piece of jewelry and, and it might be on one of five pages. Do you look at every single page to make sure your piece isn't on there? I do. And, <laughs> and that takes a lot of time. Thank you very much, um, Nikki. Um, this is a Design Gifts Internal Ink, it says on the back. I thought it was pretty. It's vintage Kind of frosted. I guess it's glass. For 50 cents, I picked it up. I think that's it. I guess I've been on here pretty long. Your Etsy store is amazing, Angie. Thank you. I have no idea how you get it all listed. I'd be interested in see how you inventory your store. Okay, let's go look. I'll show you. Uh, well, okay, you know that. Let me see. Where am I at? Let me switch this around. Okay, we're at 48. 48 minutes so I'm gonna I'm gonna make this quick now don't mind all the dog toys on the floor but I I get maybe three listings a day done and that's just that is just you know because I'm looking at all the paper piece of jewelry that I'm listing might be because I want to see what all the prices are and it takes me entirely too long. So here's my jewelry. Here's everything. Not everything that's listed, but a lot of the stuff that's listed is in these. Uh, and I've showed this before. I've showed all this stuff before. You've probably already seen it before, unless you're new. Um, but this is all my stuff that's listed. This right here is my stuff that's not listed. Well, some of that's listed. But that's all jewelry and I need to stop. I really need to stop now because it's all full of stuff. You know, all these little boxes, all these boxes are full. And uh, if I'm listing three items a day, those drawer systems are the best. I use them. I know they are, they are the best. 
the best. And I don't have anything like uh, Avon vintage jewelry, jewelry popular in Russia, but shipping cost is high. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I sell to Russia. I sell all over the place. So how do you know what is where? Uh, I do it by color and I just, I don't know. I just know where everything's at. Ah, oh, you're so organized. You're jealous. <laughs> well, my earrings are all here and, uh, my rings are all here and my 